Hey there guys, this is, is like John back again here. I'm going to be giving you my AEW All Out preview and predictions. Um, this will be going down on Sunday, September 5th, um, live from the Now Arena um, in Chicago, Illinois. Um, <clears throat> I will say that for the overall build for this card has been a little bit hit and like miss at times. I mean, clearly I feel like that Tony Khan is really relying on CM Punk a lot for this show. I mean, I mean, do not get me wrong. The card itself is still really damn good, but <clears throat> I feel like from an overall build standpoint, not as good um, as I was hoping that it was going to be, to be per, or to be perfectly honest with you, but it's still a really good show. It's really only about, I would say, two things on the show that I really just don't care about, and those two things are being, um, QT, QT Marshall versus, versus Paul White, formerly known as, as, has a big show. Um, I just could really, could really care less um about about who actually wins and loses here in the story itself um it, it just uh it, it's just it, just why should any of us care and if you've been seeing throughout the build there is zero heat here i mean they even did the random thing of having billy uh, of having billy gun and his kids turning heel on him Got literally zero zero reaction there. It's just I'm hoping that's that that this thing is short. I kind of wish that this was all oh, oh, on the pre-show. Stuff like this doesn't need to be on pay-per-view. Put this on a like rampage. Put this on a dynamite. But don't really care to to see that. And uh, 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 and uh, uh, and another match I really am just not really feeling is like John Moxley versus Satoshi. Kojima um this just feels like a very uh, underwhelming thing for 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 Moxley um honestly I was kind of hoping that they would do like either either him versus um versus um versus Miro or maybe a like Moxley versus a like Malachi p plaque or something this just like feels like that this should be on a dynamite or a like rampage as, as well here. Um, I, I mean, I'm sure that it that 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 the actual that the actual match itself it, it'll be fine, but I just don't really, really care to see this. Um, but it should be decent, but it's just don't really care to see it. Um, and we were supposed to get Andrade versus Pac, but apparently Pac is having travel issues. Um, getting o over here, so so that match will be happening at a future date. Now, apparently, this match is still happening. I think, um, I mean, just by how Andrade was talking on Twitter, so maybe this is still going down as a, a, a like mystery opponent. Do we see a Brian Danielson or an Adam Cole here? I don't think so because I feel like if you do. Ha have that go down you really run into the problem of like well neither of these guys can actually lose so why would we um really have that it does it doesn't make all, all that much sense there um so um so I'm, I'm hoping that they just pretty much hold off on on Drotty maybe for maybe for for like rampage this week or something there, so so we'll see where that goes. And by and by the way, just to give um, if that if it wasn't clear, for the other two matches, I'm going with like Paul White to win, and I'm going with with it's like Moxley to win there as well. Um, so now we'll get into the stuff which I think it is really good on this card, and really getting into a lot of of these of these title matches and the first of being um for the AEW Women's Championship Dr. Britt Baker DMD versus Chris Statlander 
I mean, the match itself, I feel like it's going to be pretty good, but there has been literally zero build for this title match. Um, I feel like that they could have done a way bad, better or job in building up up some hype for this thing. It just felt like it was just really just thrown um, together at the last second. Like we saw Chris Statlander um, on the first on the first like Rampage show. She showed up, and um, and that's when they kind of started their thing. They really haven't done anything about it. Like that haven't been too many too many promos cut on this thing yet. It just just feels like really lackluster and to the point where it's like it's not even even worth getting excited for. And um and like to to me to me we shouldn't be seeing seeing a title change in, in, anytime soon with a Brit. To me, the only person who I am realistically even considering but taking the title off of 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 of, of a Brit is probably Thunder Rosa. It's probably the only one I'm even considering right now. Um, so, um, and that'll kind of transition us into the Casino Battle Royale um, women's um, um, match to d- determine who will have a future title shot against against doctor against doctor Britt Baker um so um, I kind of feel like this is going to be Thunder Rosa here but I feel like this is pretty unpredictable as well like I could see them having a possibly a debuting Ruby Soho uh I could see Tay Conti winning this as well so um this is a really good chance for them to spot like a, a, a a few people in here who could really benefit in in a future title feud. Like um, I wouldn't even be against if like Jade won and she yeah yeah like she 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 would lose. But I feel like it would give her a really good a really good rub on top of that. So I would also be be fine with that. I'm going to I'm actually I'm going to go with like Tay Conti here. Um, I really think that they're going to be holding off on. Th- on like Thunder Rosa until 2022 and there have been some there have been some reports out there that that Tony Khan wants to hold off on that as long as he can um we'll see how long how long that happens for but uh, I'm I'm going to go with Tay Conti to win there um then we have the AEW Tag Team Championships um which will be happening inside of a steel cage be be between the Bucks versus Pentagon um, um, Pentagon Junior and 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 like Ray Phoenix, um, I think we get I think we get new 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 tag team champions here, um, which I'm kind of hoping isn't the case because to me, as much as I love as much as, as I love Penta and, and Phoenix. I don't really think that they really that they that they really need those titles. <clears throat> I really feel I feel like that the team who should beat Matt and, and Nick are um, are Santana and and Ortiz, who had by the way a tremendous match um, against against FTR um, on 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 like Dynamite. Um, I really feel like that them winning those titles um, at Arthur Ashe would be a really cool thing, but um, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I do think I do think that, that we get that we get new 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 tag team champions here, um, and yeah, they'll kind of be off for the races there. And I will be interested to see. How this is going to progress with the storyline involving Andrade and Pac, because I do feel like at some point that that the Pentagon and Phoenix are going to to be joining uh, uh, Andrade at some point. So, so we'll kind of see how that goes. But man, I'm really excited about this match. This thing is going to be nuts. It's going to be crazy. And and if it's anything to the level that this steel cage was. Between Cody versus Wardlow, I'm expecting a really good, a really good tag team t- 
title match here. So um, then we get to the TNT Championship. Miro versus Eddie Kingston. Um, I am really excited about this match. Um, these two, for as little time as they have had um, for for this match, as far as build is it, it's concerned, they have done, I feel like, a pretty decent job here. I mean, it doesn't really take too much to 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 sell this when when you have both Eddie and, and like Miro um, cutting 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 promos here. So um, so I am really excited about this. I don't see a tile change here, but I could see a flunky a flunky finish here and and then and then and, and then possibly and then possibly we get a like rematch. At like Arthur Ashe, where then you could possibly see Eddie winning, winning the like TNT title there, which which would be an awesome thing. So so yeah, I'm pretty excited about this here, um, and I'm expecting a decent match. It's going to be a much different style to which I'm I am particularly interested in. Then we get the probably the probably the most anticipated thing on this card. CM Punk versus Dar versus Darby Allen. Now there's a whole di- um question of should this close the the, the 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 show? I am of the opinion that it should. Because t- to me, I don't think there's that there's any way that they're going to be able to possibly top this thing. Um especially in Chicago, CM Punk's CM Punk's first match in over 7 years. I feel like that's what should close the show. Now I say that if this doesn't close the 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 show, then something big, something big needs to happen at the end of the show, or it's or 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 you're going to ask yourselves, why is this, why is this not closing the the show here? But I fully expect CM Punk is going over. I don't think that's even a question. This thing won't hurt Darby in the slightest. The fact that he was even chosen for this thing is a big stamp of 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 uh, of uh, approval from CM Punk. And if you have seen Punk's interviews and just and, and just him on TV, um, he really likes Darby and he really sees a lot of 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 himself in. And um, and he even said, "Hey, if I if I was a te- if I was a teen, Darby he would be my favorite professional wrestler. So I'm um, I'm just really excited to see what this whole thing is going to act- actually look like. And to me, there isn't too many guys to have your first match back with, and Darby is one of the hottest things in, in the company right now." He's going to sell his ass off for Punk. So I'm um, in like and like you could just tell CM Punk is just so excited right now. You could just see it in his face. It's just it's so awesome to see him just in this state now to where to where he's happy to be back and everything. So I am really excited to see this match here. Um as I said, CM Punk he, he's going over, but um I feel like that this is um, that this is where uh, that, that it should it, it should be a really good match and a really good and a really good moment on top of that. Then to what we think is going to close the show for the AEW Championship, Kenny uh, Omega versus Christian Cage. Um, I'll say it. I said it then. I'll say it again. <clears throat> I don't feel like that this should be a main event for a pay per view, even even with Christian Cage beating beat, beat Kenny in like Pittsburgh um, for the Impact title. I just don't think it really helped as far as helping the helping the actual per- perception about this match. I mean, do not get me wrong; it's going to be a really good match. It's going to be incredible. And I'm expecting some craziness. And Kenny, he is going to retain. I don't see that really changing there. The question is going to be, after he wins, and if this does close the show, do we see Brian Danielson confront Kenny and set up a future title match? 
which um, I feel like that's is going to happen, or maybe they have Hangman possibly re- return and confront him, which I don't think should happen because it, it's like, well, okay, if he was coming back on the show now, then why didn't you just hold off until now to have that title match? So um, <clears throat> that's kind of th- that's kind of what I see is going to happen there. So yeah, so yeah, all out. I think it's going to be a like really a really fun show, even, even though for the build itself hasn't been spectacular. But I feel like that there are some good things that are going to be on the show. Um, and and as far as the buy rate is concerned, I think I think with the addition of CM Punk, that we're going to see a very a good increase um, in the actual buy rate of the show i could see anywhere between 100 and like 50 and 200,000 buys um and if it if it's near 200,000 i mean damn like that's a pretty damn big success for the company and more of of how much of an actual draw that cm punk is um if he can manage to get that buy rate up to two up to 200,000 which would be easily the most by a professional wrestling Pay pay per view by either by any company in quite some time. So, so yeah, guys, that's going to pretty much do it for this video. video. Give me give me your comments and like your thoughts um, on the show. Also, follow us on Twitter at MJ Make a Podcast. I'll be over there tweet tweeting live and and like Matt too. Um, he'll be. He'll be watching the the show as like well there so yeah so um so yeah um feel free to uh, interact with us o- 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 over there so uh, un- un- until then guys um have a good have a good weekend and I will talk to you guys soon take it easy.